Hello and welcome to another update video. Today I'd like to talk about the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, do a, 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 a TA video about it, yeah, Elliott Wave Analysis, um, because basically Bitcoin here is at a discount. Um, this Grayscale Trust or GBTC has dropped much more than the actual Bitcoin price. And the reason is that there are certain involvements with FTX. Now, Grayscale have said that they have tweeted that they have sufficient BTC, they have enough Bitcoin to fulfill all, well, all requests, all withdrawal requirements. They have everything backed. And, you know, I obviously we, we are no insiders. I'm no insider. I have no idea. But I can tell you that they are very much involved with the SEC um, or they have some involvement. They you know, there are certain audits taking place and there are certain regulatory requirements that they, I believe, fulfill. So I would be inclined to believe them that there is no risk of any collapse. But of course, you know, we don't know that fundamentally. We can only look at the chart, <clears throat> sorry, from a, from a technical point of view. And overall, the chart is to a degree similar to Bitcoin. But there are some differences, especially very late, you know, lately, um, but we take a look at that. So overall, I would go with a wave one that was here December 2017. We came down in a wave two. Um, here's a bit of a difference to Bitcoin. I think we came down here in sort of January 2019. I would be now in a wave three or we come into the wave three next. Sorry, uh, we will have a wave four and a wave five. So this is sort of the long term view. Yeah. Um, very long term view. So this would go higher and is not so relevant for our short term view here about this on this chart, because then in this third wave, we've got obviously this structure here. And this is sort of what is relevant at the moment. My view is that we had a wave one here that was back in March. Yeah, actually February, March 21. And we're now coming down in a two. There will be a three afterwards, a wave four and a wave five to finish off this wave three. And I'm going to change here the wave degree and the color as well, so that things are getting a bit more clearly or clearer. So like this, yeah. And a possible target for the third wave I can give you as well. So we look here at around, yeah, maybe $100 for a wave three maybe a bit more. Okay. The wave three in white. Um, here, very interesting phenomenon is that the grayscale or GPTC price actually in November, October, November did not make a higher high compared to the one earlier in 2021. Bitcoin did that. And that for me just again confirms that that high that we made in November on the Bitcoin chart is really only a wave B. So because I've been telling you for a while that my view is this was an A, this was a B coming down and see at the moment. Do I believe the GBTC drop is finished? Not at the moment. And we take a look here at the shorter time frame chart. And my view is that we came down here from the high at around $55, came down in a wave um, one. This here was a wave two retracement, then a three a four and we're currently coming down here in five five of c of two and again i'm going to change the wave degree maybe color yep and that is where we're at you know at the, in this sort of fifth wave to the downside um where we can look at this as some kind of an ending diagonal. And I have to go maybe to the daily chart, take a closer look at this. So just to, to label here this fifth wave um, at the additional sub waves here, my view is that we've had here another one, two setup. This here is probably a three down at the moment, might be finished, there'll be a four and a five down. So I've been looking at one more low here ideally. Again, before we zoom in, let me put another wave degree on and then we zoom in and this is how I would see this that we had a, a wave one which was quite long basically an ending diagonal that's playing out here and then a wave three down here on the 11th of November 
and I have to go to the four hour, then we see a bit more. This could currently be at just a wave four, and we've already made a new low here, and we're coming down in a fifth wave to the downside, and we're already at around eight dollars. So we could, we could, we could. Let's see if there's any kind of trend lines we can draw. Well, you could draw a trend line like this. I think this is sort of probably quite a relevant one. Based on this, we've just hit support, um, but there is no sign it has bottomed really. And if we really go into the very short term here, in the very short term, you can actually see that if this really already is the fifth wave of the fifth, then you can count this again as one, two, three, four, and one more leg down. And as a target, we could then take this as a one, two, and we look at the Fibonacci extensions. Um, we look at the 2.618 extension around 650. Yeah, that's sort of what I can what I can look at at the moment. So here, one, two, three, this might be a four we're putting in. Again, this is really, really um, micro counting here, but just want to give you a view on this interesting chart. So retracement, first retracement, minimum, actually we put here quite a bit of a green candle in, but um, in a way four, because if we say one, two, three, four, five, the way four would normally retrace to ideally the 38.2 retracement, it's 850, maximum 860. If we get above 860, maybe the low is already in, okay? But primarily I would expect here lower prices into the, yeah, 650, maybe $7 region. Okay, and that's my update about GBTC. Let me know in the comments if you want me to keep an eye on uh, GBTC in the future as well. And other than that, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.